and welcome back yet to another video where I'm at the new location. I'm much further south down in Sweden and the beauty is behind this hill. Actually it's much more hills around this area and I am finally out testing my new Nikon Z6 Mark II. And there are some features I like to test and see if I can up level my games in landscape photography at least. Let's hike around and see what we can find in composition and see around in the area. I hope the trees has much more leaves on it than it did when I was here last time. I was a bit too early and it looks like I'm a bit too early this year also. So let's look around and see. Look at this scenery, those leading lines, that farm in the background, that round soft shape you get in the ground. This place is beautiful. <laughs> I haven't told you before but I am at Brössarpebakkar, it's south of Skåne, it's quite far down, uh, so it's two hours away from my home uh, and it's a beautiful place to go. I would highly recommend one more gem I think in Sweden we have and you have a bit more to explore around this area it's called Österlen I have about 40 minutes before the sun starts or the golden hour as you call it so I'm gonna snap some shots from this beautiful scenery and then I'm going over the other side of that hill and try to find some nice composition on some beautiful trees here are some shots from this place Now, let's go to the next one. This is really a game changer. I was looking forward to test this with the new Nikon Z6 Mark II, but I think the Z6 also have it, and that is the, on the touch screen. You can just click and it focus and you take photos. So focus stacking will be so much easier. Got the composition with that tree and I tried to focus stack from the camera to the tree. And it's so easy to just click. What a game changer. Ah, oh, but you can see this hill and the sun is going down that way. So I'm going to keep on looking for some more compositions and some more photos. I will show you this photo. And now I will keep on going over this hill and just get amazed by this fantastic landscape. Can you see it? It's hills, the beautiful trees and now I also spotted a church that way. I will try to take a photo with the tele lens and that's also something I didn't have last time I was here at the 70 to 200 and that that also makes big difference I think. Let's keep on walking. over that hill and I was a bit discouraged because last time I was here you can see this tree where the sun is now it's not that much leaf on it it hasn't that 
fried so much yet. It's not full bloom right now, but I can see that tree down there. It's really beautiful. I hope the sun will catch it and give it some cr crazy good light. I will wait for that. But the downside is that the road is there. I will wait a few minutes and see if I can get a good shot at it. But at least this time I did a shoot on a tree last time I was here and it turned out terrible because I got fog on the lens and I didn't see it until I got home. So this time I might get a rematch because um, it's much more green on this tree and much more leaf. Too bad I don't have the clouds. I did a long exposure on that one to get the motion in the clouds, but there are no clouds this time. So I will have to settle with the beautiful sunrise and the hill and the beautiful tree and do a wide shot and try that. I will also sleep in the car here tonight and uh, tomorrow I will go to another location. You will see tomorrow. But now I will have to set these things up and see if I can get a good shot of that tree before the sun. Uh, I think I have missed it. I tried my best, I took a lot of photos, but I think I missed my opportunity. The tree is all dark now. I will snap a few photos of it anyway, so we'll see. For this shot, I get really low. As you can see, the camera is almost literally on the ground. But I use some flowers in the foreground with that tree. So I hope with the flowers, then the eye will catch the tree and then you will catch that tree as well. I'll try to Photoshop out the road because that's not so beautiful to have. Look at the sunset. It's not that warm yet. It's supposed to be summer now. It's been 23 degrees the last couple of days. Now today it's only 12. Still a beautiful, beautiful day. I wish I had had some clouds, but next time maybe. I got one more rematch on this one. I hope this will be better. Now I have to pack things up and tomorrow I, will, I hope I'll get a chance to try out some other features on my Nikon Z6 Mark II that I'm eager to test and see the difference from my Nikon D750 and see if it improves the photos. But you can always go manual. I will show you tomorrow. Let's head back to the car. Finally back at the car. Now it's time to go to sleep. It's 9.30 and I'm going up 4 a.m. It's approximately six hours sleep, so not much. And now it's some night snacks before I hit bed. And I see you in the morning. Well, good morning. I'm now finally at the new 
location. It's called Halmöller Waterfall. You have a old building. It's a typical building in south of Sweden, and I think it was from the time when Sweden, this part of Sweden, was Danish. So it's the typical Danish architecture from the old days, of course. <laughs> and you have a lot of running water, so this is great. And once again. I did one more rookie mistake and that was to forget the wireless mic. I put it off in the car yesterday, the glow apartment. And of course I forgot it this morning. So I will have to use the on-camera mic. So I can't take these beautiful shots when I'm standing a bit further away. Anyway, it's a rookie mistake. But the sun is rising over there. So I hope I will get some good light on the building with some water streaming down. I will hike over this bridge and see if I can come closer on the other side of the stream and see if I can find a good composition. Let's go! I to use TPE 3D and TPE, you know, the app where I can find where the sun is rising and what area will be highlighted. But this was a so narrow valley, so I couldn't see exactly where the sun was gonna rise. So it didn't turn out exactly as I want. It feels like this is the only shot I got sun while it's rising. Uh, but I think it's turned out great. It's beautiful. This scenery, this water, that mill, as you can see, it's old. It's more like a Danish architecture, I would say. I'm not sure, so please rant me in the comments and say I'm wrong. Correct me. But now I finally got to test out the other future I was talking about. Uh, the stream is so loud. And the other future I was talking about is uh, auto white balance. I didn't think my Nikon D750 did that good job uh, when I used my Haida filter. And now I have a 0.9 filter with a polarizer filter also to get some motion in the water and don't get the reflection from the water. And I will see in post if it's turned out better. But what I can see in the screen, it feels better already. Now I will walk up again and try to see if I can find a good composition on the other side of the mill. There is a waterfall behind that mill, but further down. I will check that out. And soon I have to get back to the car and eat some breakfast because I'm getting hungry. <laughs> now the sun is rising more. I have to take the opportunity to take some shots. Oh, I'm starting to get really tired of this carrying the bag with that heavy load. But so I have to go back to the car soon and eat some breakfast because I'm starving. I'm now what? Yes, you can see down that it's a waterfall, a streaming line with actually a double waterfall. That's mm, perfect. And now I'm gonna do some last shots here and do some compositions. Uh, hopefully I get some good wide angle shots from this beautiful waterfall. And I will show the results in the end of this talking. But it's been a great trip and I had a blast with my Nikon Z6 Mark II. It's been a great camera. It's a, it's a big, big upgrade for me. I can't afford the Z8 yet, but in the future I will. But I have to get some new lenses to this one before I even upgrade because 
Wow, this is more than enough for me right now. Great. The only thing, the downside of course is I only get 24 megapixels to do uh, big prints of a landscape. It's always better with 45 megapixels, but you can still do it with 24. So it's more than enough and it's nice sport camera also, an adventure camera. And you can get many frames when things are moving fast. And that's one thing I wanted to have with this camera also, because I want to try to shoot a bit more action sport and adventures. It's been a great trip, nice condition, a bit cold this morning, only zero <laughs> degrees, but still very, very good. But if you like this video, please consider give it a thumbs up, that helps me a lot. And why not consider subscribing? Because this is what I'm gonna do a bit more. I'm gonna be around south of Sweden foremost, but I hope I will get up to Norway some soon or more north of Sweden and do some adventure photography, landscape photography, hopefully some action photography soon also. But for now, I hope I will see you in the next video. So take care now, bye.